Hey, what's good YouTube? It's Cole the Man. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Now today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best sharpshooter build for the park in NBA 2K17. This build is overpowered. Um, you know, if you want a sharpshooter who can dribble, who can speed boost, break out of animations, get open, and shoot the deep shot and get a green release almost every single time, you're going to want to go with this sharpshooter build. It is very overpowered. Um, so, but today I had the clips from my boy Johnny Ace TV. He is a sharpshooter 6'2". He does have a YouTube channel and he has a lot of good tips and tutorials. So if you want to go to his channel, go to the uh, link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to him and tell him I sent you there. He's trying to get to a thousand subs. So go subscribe to him right now. Then come back to the video and watch the rest of it. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the build. So of course, you're going to want to make him a point guard. And of course, go to the sharpshooter build. Now, later in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys the strengths to this archetype and the weaknesses as well. Now, you see the badges. You get deep range, dead eye, limitless range, overpowered. Limitless range on Hall of Fame is overpowered, guys. So, limitless range is really good. You got catch and shoot, corner specialist, mid range, dead eye. All those badges are overpowered. Really good. So, go with the sharpshooter. Now, the height. Now, listen, guys. So, you have to have an 84 ball control at the park. In order to speed boost now with a 6-2 sharpshooter you have a 79 ball control but if you put a boost on playmaking you do get an 84 ball control so that lets you speed boost so I was debating I don't know if I wanted to make a 6-1 or a 6-2 but 6-2 is definitely the way to go you want that extra inch for sure wingspan this guy's is all up to you but you know in my opinion every single player this year you got to max out that wingspan and shoulder width but the weight, of course, you want to lower that all the way. You want to minimize the weight to 165 pounds to get your speed up as possible. Um, shoulder width, like I said, you're going to want to max that out. And that does max out your wingspan a little bit more as well. You see that go up. So 21.6 inches, go ahead and go with that. Left-handed, right-handed, it's all up to you. But now let's go ahead and hop straight into the attributes and the badges. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to upgrade this sharpshooter and the max caps for each category now the shooting off dribble you get a 76 mid-range shot and three ball now your layups and dunks your standing layup is a 70 your driving layup is a 71 not bad at all all these ratings are pretty good for a 6-2 sharpshooter so you got to take those for sure now your mid-range shot is a 91 you can put a boost on boost it up to a 96 and i can guarantee you're going to be getting a whole bunch of green releases you know in people's faces same thing with the three ball you do get a 91 contested shot three and open shot three you put a boost on it does become a 96 and uh, you know you're not going to be missing much now Johnny did put post scoring up because whenever you're dribbling and you're about to lose the ball you can go in the post and get a nice speed boost animation out of that so that's pretty smart your agility your speed is an 84 you can put a boost up to an 89 acceleration same thing vertical is pretty good for a six foot two sharp it's an 81 so yeah strength is a 41 I think he wanted to put a little bit on this for, uh, you know, defense. So, you know, people can't really body him much, but it is a 41. So it's not really going to help too much. But uh, rebounding, you know, not much for a 6-2 sharp. No point in upgrading this that much. Um, so, yeah, 6-2 sharp, not really needed for rebounding. So, yeah, playmaking, ball control is a 79. You need an 84 ball control to speed boost in the park. So if you put a boost on, you do have an 84 ball control. So you need all the other passing ratings are pretty good as well. You know, defending, same ratings as everybody else in the park except for a lockdown defender, of course. Um, so, yep, let's go ahead and hop into the badges and look at those. So as you can see, you definitely need that Sharpshooter Pro. That Grand Badge is very important. He has all the badges you need in order, you know, to be good. You see he's got that Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, Corner Specialist Hall of Fame, Deep Range Dead Eye, Limitless Range, Mid Range Dead Eye. He's got all the badges you need in order to be a very good Sharpshooter at the park. He's got Pick and Roll Maestro. That is OP at the park. Definitely got to have that. Got Dimer, Posterizer. Pretty much got all the badges you need. So... Get all these badges and you will be very efficient at the park. Now I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay. So as you can see, we're at the park. You see Johnny's got the ball. Hitting the dude with the sauce. Don't know where he's going. Pulling up for the midi. Getting the green release to go. Now listen, guys. When I tell you this player is overpowered and it's the best build point guard wise on this game i'm not lying to you guys literally pull up from dumb deep and get green releases and you can speed boost so i think i'm gonna go make me one soon 
you see Johnny pulling up contested doesn't matter it's gonna drop he's got that limitless range he's got that deep range dead eye you see him doing a little hesitation pulling up another green release literally when I'm playing with this man this man literally just just says green releases every single time nice little post move animation look at that half court bro the bar is not even full and he's still draining the shots look at the momentum to the left back to the right pulling up knocking the shot down man Definitely got to go make me a 6-2 sharp soon. You see Flawless got the ball, passing it back out to Johnny. Momentum, pick and roll Maestro, stepping back. He doesn't care if someone's in his face, bro. Pulling with that confidence, getting the shot to go. Now, the weakness to this player is basically the defense. Now, people can bully you in the paint, and pretty much what you got to do is spam square. Um, that's the only weakness to this player. You're short, so you're going to be kind of weak on defense, but it's all good because this makes up for it. Hitting half-court green releases. Okay, hitting half court. Look at that pulling up another green release. Yo, guys, go make a six foot two sharpshooter and let me know how it works in the comments section. You see Johnny crossing up this dude, pulling up from the half court line, getting another green release. Yo, this build is overpowered, bro. Now, take a look at this. This is why he upgraded the post scoring. You see those fast animations he's getting right there, pulling up and getting another green release. Now that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. So guys, go make you a six foot two sharpshooter. Let me know how it works in the comments section. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to go subscribe to Johnny Ace TV. You know, thanks to him. I got all these clips. So shout out to him for that. Go subscribe to him and show him some love. Get him to a thousand subs. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and join the culture. I'm going to catch y'all next time. I'm out.